here welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new I have an absolutely mammoth grocery haul for you guys today we went four to four stores four places um, we went to Aldi Walmart Meyer and Kroger now we did not buy a lot at Meyer or Kroger but at Walmart and Aldi we bought a ton I haven't added everything up honestly because I'm a little bit afraid to but I think we're somewhere around $400 350 to 400 for all of this stuff we had some household items to pick up we had some stocking up to do we went in mainly focused on looking for whole healthy ingredients um, trying to make a little bit of a lifestyle change who am I kidding it's a big lifestyle change in the new year and we really wanted to stock up with that in mind so without further ado if I could get my cat over here to stop pawing at his cat food which is something we purchased today um, I can share with you everything we picked up starting here on the table with the items I got at Aldi okay so we focused on healthy proteins specifically grass-fed proteins um, we focused on lots and lots of vegetables and produce and ingredients for healthy meals if you have not heard i was recently diagnosed with sarcoidosis which is an inflammatory disease and so i'm really going to try to focus on anti-inflammatory foods less processed foods no sodas no <laughs> refined white breads um, I'm not going to be perfect. I'm not going to go from, you know, completely terrible diet, which is kind of what I have now, to a perfect diet. There's got to be small steps in between. But that's kind of what I was thinking about while we were shopping today. So let me go ahead and start talking about this stuff before it all thaws out. Um, we stocked up on some of our favorite frozen vegetables. Aldi has an amazing deal. Um, they're the cheapest game in town. So we got some of these broccoli florets. In the steamer bags, these are so great to just throw into the microwave, easy peasy. So we got broccoli, we got Brussels sprouts, and we got California medley. All really delicious. I think we got four bags of each. So we are totally stocked up on frozen vegetables for a little while. We grabbed this grass-fed beef boneless chuck roast. Um, I've read that grass-fed beef is better in terms of inflammation. Yes, it's more expensive but this is an easy thing that we can do going from the typical beef that we buy to grass-fed pay a couple dollars more um, it's an easy substitution i was all about that easy substitution life so um, we do have some steaks and things in our freezer that are not grass-fed we're obviously not going to throw those away we're going to eat those things um, but moving forward we're going to try to go more for the grass-fed beef if the budget allows so i did grab this grass-fed beef boneless chuck roast which looked really delicious i'm excited to try that and i also grabbed some 100 percent grass-fed ground beef this is 85 percent lean not the leanest ever but that's typically what we buy now is about 85 percent lean so again easy swap grabbed some chopped chopped kale for um salads or smoothies or whatever i'm not really a smoothie person but my family likes smoothies so um my husband says he absolutely hates kale but he's willing to give it a try so i did buy a big bag of kale i also grabbed a bag of spinach i love to put this into my omelets really excited about that grabbed some bell peppers i have gotten some Conflicting information. Some people tell me stay away from bell peppers and tomatoes and uh, I can't remember what the other ones are. Potatoes, nightshade vegetables essentially. Other people say, you know, they're fine. Again, I'm not trying to go all or nothing. I love bell peppers, so I'm not going to cut these out of my diet just yet. Maybe someday. For now, I love snacking on those and that's a much better option than a potato chip. So I grabbed those. Oh, this table's so full of stuff. Sunflower kernels, those are for salads. Also got some granola crunch, that's for my husband. He loves that, just with milk or on yogurt. Um, grabbed some basmati rice, which I've actually never had before. My son got me a rice cooker for Christmas. 
it's kind of a running joke in my house that I don't know how to make rice. Like even instant rice, I screw up all the time. Hopefully the rice cooker will help with that. Um, I've done a lot of research and basmati rice is said to be the best for anti-inflammation. So I decided to give that a try. Grabbed a few packs of this light tuna because um, that's a great healthy lunch. Slivered almonds to go on my yogurt parfaits and to go in salads. A couple of kinds of grapes, one of my favorite fruits. These are so easy to snack on. I got the green ones and the red ones, so I'm gonna get these washed up and put into my fridge. More bell peppers. We bought some fish um, at Kroger, so I'm gonna chop up these and serve them on top of the fish with some onions and some, you know, lemon, and it's gonna be delicious. Mini cucumbers for snacking and for salads. Lemons and lime, both for fish, for putting into my water for, you know, putting on my salads. Love, love, love those. Got some lentils. I'm gonna try my hand at lentil soup. Never made it before, kinda nervous about it. Nervous about all the cooking I'm gonna have to do in general with this new lifestyle, but I'm jumping in with two feet. I'm gonna do my best. My husband is a great cook and he has promised to help me and, you know, be on my side, give me all the support I need. So excited about that. Whole wheat spaghetti, that's another really easy swap we can make. Just all of our typical things that we would eat, like white bread, we switched to wheat bread. Regular pasta, we switched to whole grain pasta, whole wheat pasta. Um, this is another easy switch. We bought bone broth, so this is supposed to be really great. It's low in sodium, which I need to avoid um, a lot of heavy sodium. So we did grab a thing of the chicken bone broth and the beef bone broth. Also grabbed some avocado spray for cooking like my omelets and things. Grabbed some extra virgin olive oil. We typically in the past have used regular olive oil. This is another one of those things that was an easy switch. Yes, it's a few dollars more, but healthier overall. Grabbed some whole wheat pita. I thought that I would use this for my tuna salad sandwiches. Um, a couple of spices. So. Turmeric, turmeric, I don't really know how to say it, but I know it's supposed to be really great for um, being an anti-inflammatory, so I'm gonna try that, um, probably in some of that basmati rice. If you have any other recommendations on how you can use turmeric, let me know. I also grabbed this garlic and herb salt-free seasoning. Again, need to go as low sodium as possible. Grab some steel-cut oats for breakfast, some unsweetened applesauce, um, I grabbed some of this honey for my Greek yogurt parfaits. I like to sweeten my Greek yogurt with a little bit of honey. Never tried this one, but I can't imagine it would be bad. Speaking of Greek yogurt, I've never tried this Simply Nature um, organic Greek yogurt before. It's a whole milk yogurt, um, but I'm going to give it a go. Um, last but not least, unless I've missed something, from Aldi, I have the 100% whole wheat bread. Again, it's a really easy switch to make. And then 12 grain bread. This is my husband's absolute favorite. So that was it from Aldi. I think we're at Aldi we spent around $125. I will, of course, um, have all of the pricing information listed down below in the description box. Um, so, you know, feel free to check that out at your leisure. Now let's go on to Walmart, Meyer, and Kroger which is over on this side of my kitchen. So we'll start kind of from right to left. This is everything we picked up at Kroger. Kroger has a really great seafood deal going on right now. Um, they had these bags of shrimp, buy one, get one free, and they were $15 each. So we ended up getting four two pound bags of shrimp for just over $30. I thought that was a really great deal. We can keep this in our freezer and have it for the next you know, year, whenever we're feeling like having shrimp. Um, we had this with our Christmas dinner. We got a couple of bags and it was phenomenal shrimp. So really excited that the deal was still going on when we were at Kroger today. Grabbed some malt vinegar. My husband loves malt vinegar. And then we also grabbed some red wine vinegar for salad dressing. Um, still at Kroger, the orange roughy was on sale for $8.99, I think. Um, both my husband and I love orange roughy. Neither of us has had it in a really long time, so we grabbed that. Also, while we were at Kroger, we picked up the Flavor Blasted Goldfish, and 
the graham crackers for the kids. And I believe that was everything at Kroger. Um, then we have Meyer, which again, we didn't buy a ton at Meyer, but Meyer's produce section is so beautiful. Every time I walk in there, I just have to buy some produce. So we grabbed the Driscoll's blackberries. Again, these berries are gonna go great with my yogurt parfaits. We also got the raspberries and the blueberries. Um, also at Meyer, I believe we picked up the Granny Smith apples and the onions. So these are two sweet onions and one red onion. And I think that was it from Meyer. Like I said, it was a very small haul. Oh, I'm lying to you. We also picked up this corned beef brisket at Meyer, which is not the healthiest thing ever, but we're gonna have that um, on New Year's Eve. So my husband really wanted that. Kind of like a last hurrah before we go full-fledged into, you know, healthy food territory. All right, last but not least, we have Walmart. I had to get some household stuff, plus a few other things that are just cheapest at Walmart. So we got some baby carrots to go with that um, roast that I purchased at Aldi. And actually, these will go really good with the um, corned beef, too. So uh, the red potatoes are to go with that corned beef. Grabbed some romaine lettuce for salads. Also grabbed the Honeycrisp apples at Walmart because while my boys all like Granny Smith, I like something a little sweeter. So the Honeycrisp I got for me. They still had celery on sale for 25 cents. So I grabbed a thing of celery. This will go great in my tuna salad. It'll go great for snacking. Um, I have a feeling I'm going to be eating a lot of sweet potatoes. And I absolutely love them. So I grabbed a ton of sweet potatoes. Also grabbed some of my favorite sugar-free Coffee Mate creamer. One of these days I'll have to say goodbye to this because I'm sure that that's not doing me any favors in terms of inflammation. But like I said, I need to take baby steps. I can't cut out everything I love in one fell swoop or I'll never stick to it. So still going to be having my coffee creamer, at least for the foreseeable future. Low fat um, cottage cheese for the whole family. We all love this. Uh, got some pepper jack cheese sticks because Robbie really loves these. We also got string cheese. That's a great snack. Grabbed this whole wheat Greek style pita. We got the other pita with the tuna sandwiches in mind. This I want to do like a chicken Caesar salad type wrap. Only I probably won't have Caesar dressing on mine. Just being realistic. Grabbed a couple of these high fiber carb lean wraps that I love from Olay. Grabbed the free range um, chicken thigh fillets. Yum, I cannot wait to have those. Um, down here on the floor, I do have the cat food as I mentioned that I'm about to trip over, so I'm gonna move this out of the way. And also toilet paper, because we were all out of that. Yogurt for the fam. Um, their absolute favorite is this cherry yogurt. And then we also got some strawberry and some peach, so they're all stocked up there. Austin's had a cold the last several days, so he needed some more tissues. Also, right before Christmas, we went and tried to get eggnog, and they were all out. So when we saw it today, we stocked up, got some margarine for my husband. My eggs bit the dust, unfortunately, and these were so expensive. Like, I thought regular eggs were expensive. These organic ones are so much more expensive. And unfortunately, three of them broke, so I just put them in this little bowl here. But these are the ones I purchased. They're from Market Side. I'm hoping they'll be really delicious. And these will go right into my fridge. And then last but not least, I picked up these um, mesh sieves for washing rice or for helping me to wash my produce. We just needed some of those. So that is absolutely everything. I am exhausted from all the shopping and bringing everything in, cleaning out my fridge, doing all the things. But we're gonna go ahead and get this put away. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, will you please give it a thumbs up? That really helps out my channel. Don't forget to subscribe. There's gonna be lots of healthy eating, healthy lifestyle content coming your way in the new year. So definitely gonna wanna stick around for that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye friends.